spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I and T. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Baby, you're all the company. Bird, hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A Marie. Today's video, you guys, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing this Fenty Powder Foundation Review. So, yes, you guys, I did haul the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation in my Ulta haul or my Sephora haul. One of the two, I will have it linked, but I did haul it and I told you guys, no, it was my Sephora. It was my Sephora haul. And I told you guys I wanted to go ahead and get this review out to you guys. I know, I know, I know. I'm late, but it's better late than never. We are going to go ahead and test this out. Now, look here, you guys. Y'all know me. If y'all been rocking with me, y'all know I don't just do powder foundation y'all know I have to have some type of foundation on so for this review only for you guys to get the full effect of what's about to go down I will not be using any foundation first I'm just gonna go strictly into the powders y'all pray for me let's hope that this worked out okay <laughs> since we're doing the Fenty powder foundation I decided to let's just go ahead and make this a Fenty day like everything Fenty the only thing that I'm not using that will be Fenty is my Marc Jacobs daily moisturizer the Fenty products that I did pull out all of them are not a part of my shop mustache but most of them are because you know this month is the high-end shop mustache so I did go ahead and do my brows with this Fenty brow MVP and this is medium brown with a little bit of my benefit um precisely my brow in shade number five yes the hair is like 613 blonde but you guys know I can't go without my dark brows I did get the Fenty MVP from my boxy chart so I didn't do anything to my face. It's not moisturized or anything. So we are gonna go in with this Marc Jacobs and see how that works. And for like the makeup portion of this video, we are gonna fast forward it because we're solely focusing in on the powder foundation. <laughs> so we are gonna go in with the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Soft Matte Primer, which I haven't used in a good while. We're going to go in and straight conceal, which we're going to use the Fenty Pro Filter 370 concealer. Y'all, that's what I use to clean up my brows, but I'm not used to this. So this is going to be like really awkward for me because I'm not wearing foundation at all. And I was going to use my Fenty foundation, but... I did watch, I think it was like two or three reviews and nobody had on foundation. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to take one for the team. Try this without foundation as well. So this foundation claims to be a medium to full coverage for all. Light as air, flawless filter effect. I know the shade range is on point Fenty never seems to disappoint us with the shade range but with the shade range of colors I know I don't have my perfect shade in the foundation and I know other people don't have their perfect shade in foundation Savannah Silver here on YouTube she has like six different shades of Fenty foundation that she uses to mix and match I think I have two shades <laughs> as well if I haven't decluttered them already. Fenty has a good wide range, but when it comes to the color match and the undertones, somewhere, somehow, it's a miss for a lot of people. Before I go in with the powder, I am gonna go in with my Fenty Insta Retouch Setting Powder in Honey. I'm going to set my concealer down. I know I'm looking probably hella orange right now, 
in person. I really don't look orange like this, but it's all the lights and stuff going on that's like making it way more brighter than what it really is. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna go in and see which color is a better match for us. I do have the shade 410 and 400. Here is 410 and she looks like this. On camera she looks a whole lot more orange than what she really is in person. She is really not that orange. One thing that I did notice, you have a mirror on this part of the Fenty Compact as well as on the bottom. And we're gonna swatch 410 right there. That is a horrible swatch, but can you guys see it? Okay, and then we have 400. And 400 looks like a little bit more neutral. The 410 looks warmer. 410, see, and she shows up orange on camera and she's not really orange. So we're gonna swatch 400 right there. Okay, so 400 is a lot darker than 410. Our trusty dusty powder brush. I got this from CVS many years ago. It's very old, but this is like one of my favorite powder brushes. So we're gonna take 410 and we're gonna put it around here. And then we're gonna take 400 and put it up at the top. So we're gonna take, yes, 410. It's already dirty. We're gonna take 410 and we're gonna just this is a very compact packer brush. When I put on my powder foundation over my foundation, this is normally what I use. So we're gonna use it just like normal. I see her covering up. Now she's supposed to help with your fine lines, like the creasing and stuff. It's not supposed to settle in that and you're supposed to be able to see a, like a filter effect with this powder. So hopefully we will get that look. I think 410 looks pretty decent. She looks a little bit reddish in person than in camera, but with powder foundations, it is going to lay a little bit darker on your skin if you don't have foundation on compared to if you do have foundation on. So be prepared for that. I'm just gonna run a little bit over whatever I have left on this brush. And just so everything can look even. That's the scary thing about me just using straight powder on my face versus putting on foundation on and then setting it with a powder. I personally don't like to see my molds and all that through my foundation. So to just lay a powder on is pretty weird for me. <laughs> but I can't say she's looking real pretty. I know I'm not gonna get like that full, full coverage that I'm looking for because I don't have on a foundation. But we will wear this face all day and I will come back to check in to see if I'm like oily or my crease lines didn't last with this or if it did, you know? Okay, I think 410 is like my perfect shade. I think she looks reddish but she's not like hella red. It honestly kinda looks like she's just sitting there on my skin and I guess it's because I can see my skin. So we're gonna take 400 and we're gonna place her around the forehead just to see what the big difference is or if we could see a big difference. Oh, she's very neutral. You guys, she's very neutral. Like, I see no color. So the only thing with the neutral powders with me is I feel like I could go ashy at some point with the neutral powders. 
only because my skin tone is golden yellow that undertone in me so the reds and the goldens pull out better than the neutrals the neutrals tend to go funny she looks very filtered <laughs> like i'm looking at it and i'm checking it out in my mirror and my monitor on my monitor it really looks flawless in my mirror it really looks blurred and filtered but i can still see through it but i know that i wouldn't do this i was kind of hoping for that powder foundation to be like really strong to where it gave me like that game changer feel like i can wear powder foundation without foundation but that's not what she's giving me okay <laughs> but i am gonna go in with this fenty sunstalker bronzer and mocha mommy okay well i can't say she didn't move around the powder didn't move around and i know that's like something everybody looks for I think she's not moving or anything due to the fact we don't have no foundation on what is there to move i heard you could put cream on top of this powder with and it won't disturb but once again i'm not a cream person so i would never <laughs> i think 410 is really gonna be my cup of tea because 400 is just a little bit too neutral but what i'm looking for is for the creasing the smile lines and the fine lines and the pores and the oxidizing the wear I, that's like all I'm looking for. I'm looking to see if it's gonna break down at any point. So, so far, so good with it. I think, I think she's gonna hold up pretty nice. I would like to see like what she does throughout the day. I don't typically get oily. Like my brows start to shine a little bit, but I don't get oily like talking about so i would like to see if it's gonna make me look drier because that's one problem i have with a lot of my products i look drier instead of oilier and my smile lines normally crease i start fading at the lip and stuff so those are going to be some of the points that we look at when we go to check in kind of shocked me of how much she covers standing along but she is given more of a full coverage than um, let's just say like the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I don't think I would be able to build that up on bare skin alone. I could probably see myself using it on the light days, but I cannot wait to try it when I'm doing like a full blown full coverage it is 12 21 now you guys i will check in later on and i will do a natural clip for you guys this foundation this powder foundation i keep just saying foundation but this powder foundation also claims to not give flashback Hey y'all, welcome back. This is my check-in and I wanted to tell you guys, I will put the timestamp in here on when I'm doing the check-in because I forgot my phone in my room, but I needed to do this quick check-in and let you guys take in this flawless, this flawless face. Earlier in the video, I did not set my makeup and I thought about it after I did the video. I was like, oh, I didn't set my makeup. Well, I went to record another video and still forgot to set it. So this complete face is without setting spray. We're still looking really good. Do not bother with the indents right there. That's because of the glasses i got the end in but you guys like this makeup is still sitting really pretty it started to break up right here i could tell right here in the crease but 
I'm not oily or anything like I know y'all see that indent but I've been wearing glasses all day but everything still looks good I don't know what the hell happened here I'm pretty sure y'all can see that in the camera I have no problem showing you it's like a line going right here um, but I don't know what that is from I'm not quite for sure what I did but I probably was moving around or something and I did pop on some lip gloss but I was out and about today went to the grocery store went to pick up my kids dropped my kids off like I was ripping and running and I did do you know household stuff as well as YouTube stuff so I think this foundation powder is a winner I think it's a winner but I think she will be in like the number one place if put it over some foundation the smile line you cannot see whatsoever which is a shocker because most foundations most powders will settle in your smile lines really fast so that is my opinion hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as well as this check-in let me know what you think down below would you think about getting this foundation powder or will you miss so hopefully you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well as comment stay tuned for the elf cc cream foundation review that is coming up next don't forget we're building confidence in a unique way and until next time i'll see y'all later deuces